Well, Jen, I'm standing here on Front Avenue in Uptown Columbus, where in early June the streets were all the buzz with some first of its kind army experimentation. It was just another Thursday morning on the streets of Uptown Columbus. Construction crews, pedestrians, traffic, and Bradley fighting vehicles. It's awesome they brought the Army to us. It's an awesome sight. I've never seen it in the civilian setting before. You don't normally see a Bradley coming down the streets of Columbus. It's really spectacular, actually, because we see it on the news overseas and all that, and to be able to see it here, uh, it's really exciting. Fort Benning soldiers took their Bradley fighting vehicles to the streets of Uptown Columbus, Georgia, to experiment with a new way of seeing things. We're looking at how camera vision affects the way soldiers operate military vehicles. The Soldier Battle Lab and combat veterans from the 1st Battalion 29th Infantry Regiment were tasked with assessing a new camera vision system to learn how it affects the way units fight mounted. We believe that in the future, soldiers will have to rely more on camera vision because of the threat, because of IEDs, snipers, they're operating inside vehicles where they're protected. As a result, they're not able to see around the vehicles with their own eyes. So they're relying on camera vision to see what's around the vehicles. The camera vision system needed to be tested in a complex urban environment, and Uptown Columbus provided the ideal location. We operate, as you know, in, in a very complex world where you know, civilians will be maneuvering or be moving right alongside of vehicles in uh, urban congestion uh, cities, which is one of the reasons we wanted to come downtown Columbus so we could get something that we simply can't replicate at Fort Benning. It's really hard to recreate this type of scenario in, in a, a mount situation. So actually out here with civilians, out here with cameras, you know, there's actually people that pulled out in front of us, you know, so you can't really recreate that. So it's actually, I think it helped a lot. The camera vision system provides soldiers a 360 degree view around the Bradley vehicle without being exposed to outside threats. We're finding there's some guys that have significantly more situational awareness. The driver, for one, can now see all the way around the vehicle, where before he can only see out front. The guys in the back, particularly the squad leader, can now see around the vehicle as well. The driver, commander, and the squad leaders all have their own independent screens. They can select whichever camera they wish to look at. So the driver can be paying more attention to where he's going using all forward cameras, and the commander can use any camera he wishes, and the squad leader can just be bouncing all around the vehicle looking for threats. Op 4 were dispersed throughout the area to provide targets for the Bradley crew to acquire and distinguish from civilians and other elements in this complex city terrain. We have some Op 4 out here to uh, present targets to us and we're just trying to see who sees them, how we see them, when we see them. Good guys and bad guys can look very similar, so we're just trying to see if, if soldiers can actually identify a good guy versus a bad guy with these camera systems. The experiment was a success and provided the data necessary for further development and testing. It's very effective, yes. It is. We do believe that uh, this, this uh, concept will be very helpful for us over in Iraq. This is the first time the city of Columbus and Fort Benning have brought this type of training within the city limits and everyone involved was more than happy to see and support each other and continue our great Tri-City partnership. They've been excellent to work with. I mean, they've actually laid the, the red carpet out for us and let us use their facilities. So it's, it's been a great experience. I mean, the, the city of Columbus and Fort Benning, I mean, what, a, what a great town to, to be associated with. Anything that we can be doing to help our troops to make sure that we keep our troops safe, make sure that our troops um, have the best equipment, and that's what they're trying to do. Just let them know we support them 100% and we love them and love what they're doing and thank you for my freedom. The experiment was a success for everyone involved. The camera system worked great and everything just went smooth. And the soldiers tell me that they look forward to working with the city of Columbus in the near future. And the civilians tell me that the troops are welcome down here anytime.